Welcome to yet another Romsky video. Today is day 10 of my quarantine, which means I have to do my self-test. It's 5.30 in the morning, so supposedly... So supposedly the lineup is really long? Supposedly the lineup is really long for this test. The way it works, you gotta register online and then you're in some kind of queue and a nurse is gonna watch you do it through the webcam or something. I don't know. I'm like longing to be in my bed right now. Here with my testing kit and stuff, and I'm ready to snipe the spot. All right, I'm one minute out. Uh, I'm getting ready, ready to clutch it. For some reason, I can't log in. Great, I love it. I love it. I love it when it's like not working. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There are currently 66 people ahead of you. How? I just did it instantly, man. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in queue for like, like, I'm right here, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm on camera. Basically I'm on the webcam, and they're just gonna contact me once they're ready. And apparently I'm 65th in line. I don't know how long that is. I wish I could tell you how long that goes by, but I have no idea. I thought I sniped it. I thought I sniped it, guys. I really thought I sniped it. I didn't snipe it. I'll see you guys in like 65 minutes. Uh, your date of birth? May 31st, 99. Do you have a piece of ID I can look at, like a passport, health card? Sure. Um, next I need you to blow your nose and sanitize your hands. Sorry, I wrote on the wrong side of the label. <laughs> now hold the collection tube upright. Twist to remove the cap. When the cap is on, place it on a flat surface. There's liquid inside. Make sure it doesn't spill. You should have a swab stick in your package. Yep. So for the test, you'll insert in your nose 1.5 to 2 centimeters. Rotate 15 seconds and you're doing that on both sides. So start and I'll tell you when to switch to the other side. Okay. So keep rotating when the stick's in your nose. Remove and then switch to the other side. the swab stick press side down in the collection tube. So midway of the stick, it's marked where you should break it, bend back and forth to break the stick. Okay. Oh, yeah. Replace the cap tightly. Seal the bag. Take care. Thank you. All right, that's it. And now it's 7 a.m. Process took about an hour. I thought I'd snipe a good spot, which I did not. I'm going back to sleep. All right, so I woke up again, almost one o'clock. Had a hard time falling asleep after being awake for so long and staring at a screen. Gotta go now leave this package, which has my test at my front door. They're gonna pick it up at some point in the next five hours. The test is done, it's on the porch. So only four more days left. I think today is Wednesday. So Wednesday, I've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. On Monday, I'm done. So I get to get back on the ice on Monday and slowly get back up again. The first week of my quarantine, I did basically nothing. I just relaxed. Like, physical activity was minimal. Almost zero, if I'll be completely honest. But it was good. It was good to finally take a break. My body feels relaxed and rested up. This week, I'm going to start doing a little bit more off the ice, which I already did starting Monday, since on Monday I'm coming back. So we're halfway through the week. I'm just doing a little bit off the ice. I'm not doing like some crazy training regime, but just sort of, you know, so that I'm not shocked when I get on the ice and my body's like, like a robot, you know, and like every landing hurts more than like ever before. So like the last time we were locked down and we were stuck, at least I was able to go on bike rides and like actually leave my house. But I, I can't even be outdoors. Like I'm, I'm confined to my basement. So the closest thing to my bike ride is my spin bike, which is not the same thing. I definitely prefer biking on the road. So yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. <sighs> that was, uh, that was good. That was, that was good. For those of you who have followed along before, you know I have a specific cardio program, but right now I'm not even doing a specific program. I'm just sort of going through my old stuff and just choosing a exercise, if you will, or a routine that I just sort of feel like doing. Nothing really specific right now. So I'm still technically on my break. I'm just sort of 
It's an active break, you know? An active break. Now I need to like actively clean myself. Much better. Now you might, it might seem like I'm wearing the same set of clothes and I kind of am, except I own like four of the same sets of clothes. You know what? I think I am going to game a little bit. I've been gaming a lot during this quarantine. I think probably more than what's healthy for me. I had a couple of nights last week that I was up till 4 a.m. Who knows, maybe this whole skating and YouTube thing doesn't work out. I'll just become a Twitch streamer. No, I'm joking, I'm not good enough to be a Twitch streamer. I'm trying to get there, N not to be a Twitch streamer, but just to be better in general. I'm gonna log in and play for maybe an hour or two and then uh, carry on with my day. There's a special part to this day, I swear. So, this is the game that I've been playing for the past, honestly for a while now, I think I've been playing for like 3-4 months. I got hooked. I got hooked. And let me, let me explain. The game's called Valorant, it's been booming like crazy, for those of you who know, those of you who are Valorant players slash fans. UNITE! It's a ta tactical shooter, if you will. It's basically like Counter-Strike, if you know what Counter-Strike is, mixed with Overwatch. I, I, I highly recommend it. Anyway, this is a, supposed to be a very competitive game and I treat it pretty competitively also. It might sound funny, but I really truthfully, like 100% real talk here, I see a huge future in esports. Not in myself, obviously. I don't see my future in esports, but I think esports is gonna take off like crazy. More so than it already has. I really think it's gonna take off tenfold, which already has due to the pandemic. Everyone's at home and everyone's just streaming and stuff. But nonetheless, I enjoy it and I like the competitive feel. There's definitely a competitive feel to it, which is why I'm into it. Yeah. I'm retiring figure skating. Wow. Enemy remaining. Holy oh, roll. All right, we ended up winning one game, but then having a draw in the other game. Disappointed in my performance. Okay, next on my to-do list, I'm gonna study some choreo for a new dance or something. I don't know, gotta kill some time. Plus dancing is a pretty good workout, so I'm not gonna reveal any of that. <laughs> you guys thought. I'm experimenting with some potential gala programs. I haven't decided on one yet. I'm definitely going to release a new, I guess, half cover. Because I don't really learn the whole dances, right? So I'm gonna release some kind of dance cover at some point, maybe next week. And that's not the one that's probably gonna be the program. I'm like really slow at learning compared to like other people, I feel. Like I'm really slow at learning choreo and picking stuff up. That's why it's actually kind of nice that I get to do it at home instead of an actual class, although there's benefits to both. Right now I'm just trying to learn on, focus on those small nuanced movements Stuff that you just miss, but like it makes the difference, you know? If, you, if they're missing, it's like, hmm, what you doing? So yeah, I'm gonna keep going. I'm sweating buckets in this, but you know, it's essential to look, I need to feel some swag when I'm looking in the mirror, you know? All right, so. It's like day, I think it's day 12 of my quarantine now. I'm still working on these dances. I'm still kind of undecided on which one to choose. I think, I think I have one though. I think I've chosen. The thing is I've learned the other one more than I learned this one. So it's like, like a hard decision. So at this point, I'm just <sighs> studying. God, I'm sweating. I have to do ballet after this, man. Holy moly.
Okay, cool. Thank you. Bye. Oh my god. Oh. Man, I am rusty. I haven't done ballet. Okay. Let's be let's be clear here. I haven't done a whole lot in 2 weeks. I haven't done ballet in like 8 months. So this is like killer. Killer. I feel really terrible doing it. I feel rusty. My movements are rusty. And I'm dead, man. I'm dead tired. So, yeah. Um, I've got two days left of quarantine. I'm just going to do the same thing and then we're back on the ice. I don't think there's much to add to that. I'm not going to lie. I had a pretty good time this past two weeks. Even though I was stuck at home, I would have preferred if I could go outside. You know, chill a little bit outside. But it was nice. It was a nice two weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Like this video if you liked it, disliked it, if you disliked it, hit that subscribe button so you know when I post next video and I will catch you in the next video.